Hey, this is Andy Brown. I'm the head instructor at the Climber School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida. We are the very best real estate school in all of Florida. If you haven't been here, you need to come visit us. Anyways, I'm about to do number 19 for you on your free broker math practice exam, which you can find on our website, climberrealestateschool.com. Now, let me read you what this says. An investor bought an office property last year for $9 million. In addition to the price, paid $85,000 for an appraisal, $3,500 for a survey, $9,800 for title insurance, and $37,550 in dock stamp taxes and intangible taxes. The land is estimated to be 25% of the total value. What is the investor's total annual depreciation on the building? Now, this is going to come into play. Uh, be, uh, it's on the income tax part, but what I really want to explain to you is when you're looking at what you can depreciate, it's not just the purchase price. Uncle Sam and the IRS, they allow you to add in your acquisition cost. Now, this increases your depreciable basis. So instead of $9 million, you get to work with $9,135,850. That would make a little bit of a difference, at least on your taxes. The next thing I need to remind you of is you can never, 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 never depreciate the land. Land does not depreciate. Do not depreciate the land. If you depreciate the land on the test, that's called a wrong answer. If you depreciate the land on your IRS tax return, that is called tax fraud because you really, really cannot depreciate the land. Now, the problem tells you the land is worth 25%. What that means is the allowable improvement is 75%, but what's important here is you get to do that of the, of the purchase price plus all your acquisition costs. So it, it is a little bit of an extra savings year to year. What that means is the, let's call it the beginning amount, your depreciable amount, is 600, I'm sorry, $6,851,888. Now I want to remind you, let me write that down first. The IRS says, it's not me, the IRS, if your property is non-residential income producing property, it has a 39 year lifespan. I don't know where they came up with that number. Residential is 27 and a half years, non-residential is 39. So you get to take that number, you divide by 39 years. Well, if you put that into your calculator, what you get is B. Baker, $175,689. That is per year. Every single year, you get to write off $1 million, oh, there I did it again, $175,689. How much will that save you in taxes? That depends on your tax bracket. The higher your tax bracket, the more it will save you, but you do get to write that off as deduction called depreciation. I hope that helps you. You know, there's a really good chance you're going to get a question like that in your state exam. I would love if you get it right. Do me a favor. Let me know. Stay in touch with me. Let me know how you do. I'd love to hear. Email me or get a hold of me through the website or call me at the school anytime. 407-822-3926. We really are the best school in Florida. Once you pass your exam, you need to do your broker post licensing. You ought to think about coming here for the broker post. We have the greatest broker post license classes in all of Florida. It's more of an experience than a class. You will love it. I promise you. I'd love to meet you. I hope to see you. In the meantime, when you take that exam, don't overthink it, and good luck on your state exam.